Back pain is something many people deal with at some point in their lives. Severe cases often require surgery to fix the problem. Now, with the help of innovative technology, procedures on the spine are faster, less invasive, and overall better for the patient. Maureen Halliday has the story. Nancy Bulefeld loves to stay active. I love to go for walks, love to go for hikes, love to play tennis, just picked up pickleball. But severe pain in her lower back kept her off the court. I couldn't play with the running and the jarring, it hurt too much. It's pretty readily apparent how bad nerves are pinched right in this channel here. After x-rays and an MRI, Nancy learned she had a deformity in her spine and severely pinched nerves. Surgery was her best option. You have to not only unpinch the nerves, but you have to rebuild that part of the spine as well. Dr. Steven Ritter is an orthopedic spine surgeon. He uses the Strikers Cube guidance system to visualize the surgery. It produces real-time 3D models of a patient's spine, allowing surgeons to operate through a small incision. Traditionally, with the big open surgery, you have to open the, the incision wide to be able to see the anatomy to repair what you need to repair. With, with these different technologies, you're allowed to repair a lot of the structural problem without ever having to see the anatomy directly. You're visualizing it on a screen. Dr. Ritter says for his patients, a smaller incision means a lower risk of infection, less pain after surgery, and a shorter overall recovery time. Nancy's surgery was a success. She's now pain-free and once again able to enjoy the things she loves. I got my activity back, my really active lifestyle. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. Thank you, Maureen. Dr. Ritter says this navigation technology as a whole can be used for many things. But he says the specific guidance system he uses is uniquely designed to help with spine surgeries because of its precise ability to target a certain area or bone during surgery. Well, the average U.S. teen spends an average of more than four hours a day on social media. I'm in Michigan Matters. Here, an expert share a study between youth and social media impacts and what families can do to limit risks. And our producer Matt asked me to find one of the older pets that's for adoption.